Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is uh, Synth here with another Figure Sunday, and I'm bringing you the Super 7 Recreation Hellboy collectible action figure uh, exclusively to Hot Topic website. And I'm really glad to be reviewing this figure. Uh, this adult collectible, not a toy. I know uh, this looks pretty damaged. I blame the mailing, but I was going to bust him out anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, let's check him out and see what we got. And here he is. Hellboy. Or his name, Anang Unrama. Really interesting. This is the first time I've ever picking up a figure 7 figure of the retro figures from the 1970s to 80s. Oh, this is really cool. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. There's his tail with his leg, or his third leg. Ew. Alright. Hmm. Detail, paint job's really good. They really got down to the hair. Hmm. Does it move? Oh, it does. The head goes in 360 degrees. Very nice. Arm also goes in 360 degrees. Hand does not. Other arm goes 360 degrees. Red right hand of doom does not go in 360 degrees uh, leg only goes 45 degrees up both of them torso does not hmm. that's about it yeah I thought I'd uh, do a review on Hellboy the Hellboy figure I've done one in the past of uh, Cronin so you can check that back out in the link in the bios uh, but I had to do this uh, for this figure because of the new 2019 Hellboy movie that just came out last week or whatever time anyone's going to see this. And I finally saw it and I'm like, oh yes. Do not listen to Rotten Tomatoes review. you got to watch it for yourself. It's actually not bad. It's actually a pretty good movie. It's really catching a lot of the comic, unlike the first two. I'm not going to lie, the first two are always going to be the best for me. It had so much heart, such a great original story. But this one does catch a lot more of the comic feel, like everything with it. Origin story, uh, every element that they use, really good. But detail the paint job, really good, I have to say. Let's check the face. Mm -hmm. Got his golden eyes right there, his teeth. His uh, facial structure, his horns. Huh. Hmm. The detail to the trench show is really good, even to the BPRD symbol. That's really good. The red right hand of doom details look good. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's check out his accessories. And yes, he does have accessories. He's got his pistol. I'm forgetting the name at the moment, so don't quote me on that. You can leave a comment down below what the pistol is at the moment. Really good, the detail. Bam. Pew, 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 pew. Hmm. Looks pretty good. They do have other figures, uh, but this is the only Hellboy that's exclusively to Hot Topic website. Uh, they already made Abe Sapien, uh, Liz Sherman, Rasputin, and all that uh, other jazz. You can get other Hellboys, but he has longer horns, and he's only with the uh, packs. Well, what can you do? Alright, now let's explain a little bit more of the history with Super 7. Or more of a description with this. Super 7 is uh, proud to present this Hellboy recreation figure from the pages of the original Iconic Comic Book series by Mike Magnolia. Or Mignola. It is rendered in the tradition of the classic action figures of the 1970s and 80s. Features five points of articulation and packaged in traditional blister card. And he stands at uh, three and a quarter, three and a quarter tall. It's pretty short. And of course, uh, I'll talk about a little bit more of well, who Super 7 is. Super 7, founded in 2001 is a primer pop culture design house and producer of lifestyle oriented collectibles toys and apparel based on San, uh, based in San Francisco led by designer Brian Flynn Super 7 has a 
harnessed the graphics of ethnicities and energy of youthful obsession with science fiction, giant monsters, comic books, punk rock, skateboarding, robots, and rebellion to build a unique initiative business that crosses all categories and is not bound to digital manufacturing boundaries. And that is Super 7. I'll put a link down below so you can catch out their shops and like whatever collectibles you want to get there. Now uh, we'll be going to the packaging that he came in. And here it is. Super 7 logo, one little plastic, fully posable action figure, BBRD symbol, and from one of the covers of Hellboy with the demon speaking into his eye. Hmm, really good. What we got right here is adult collectible, not a toy for ages 15 and up. Warning, choking hazard small parts, not for children under 3. And of course, we got right here like almost the original packaging of like the original Star Wars figures. We got Hellboy, Ape Sapien, Liz Sherman, Lobster Johnson, Collect All. And of course, we got Investigators, BBRD, Classified, the little brief thing. Uh, DLP, December 23, date of birth, December 23, 1944, aka Anang Unrama. Hellboy was discovered by Professor Trevor Brotholm in 1944 on. Tournament Island, Scotland. He works for the BPRD, an international non-governmental agency investigating paranormal activity across the globe. And then we got the store right there, made in China, yada yada. Ooh, that was 18 bucks. Uh, if you buy these on the website of their official store, it's like 15 bucks. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it to it. Let's see if I can... into Hellboy because of the 2004 yeah 2004 Hellboy movie with Ron Perlman and Guillermo del Toro I love their movie and I fell in love with them I'm glad my dad picked up the DVD when I was little and then I love the second one of Hellboy the Golden Army still loved it I was hoping for a third one they've kind of left a little cliffhanger but then we got 2019 Hellboy with David Harper which is not bad. I actually watched it. It was pretty good. It was really close to the comics, and I actually enjoyed it a lot. I just wish they kind of finished off with a third movie and then did whatever the hell they wanted. But what can you do? But either way, this is a Hellboy Super 7 figure. Uh, exclusively the Hot Topic. I will be putting a link down below so you can check it out and you can get it your own. Hopefully you will not be getting it damaged like I did. I did the mistake of buying a t-shirt and a plushie at the same time and this ended up like this so have them ship it to your house do not have them ship it to the store they will not take care of it well I can already see that alright well I hope you guys enjoyed the video I do figure Sundays every sun every two weeks on every Sunday I've been slacking a little bit lately but um, I'm gonna get right back on track of course my channel is not only figures I also do gaming videos with my friends and like stupid moments or if those don't catch your interest you could always check out my mystery Uncover box mysteries where I do uh, unboxing videos of mystery boxes. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment down below what you thought, and if you really want to see more of these, all you got to do is to subscribe to Synth Nation, hit that notification bell when new videos come up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.